Welcome to our video tutorial on the Swarovski Optic EL Range with Tracking Assistant. Install the EL Range app on your smartphone or tablet. Activate Bluetooth on your smartphone and the EL Range itself. On the EL Range, press the measurement button and mode button simultaneously for three seconds until the LED light flashes blue. Connect the smartphone and the EL Range via Bluetooth. To do this, select the serial number of your EL range in the app. You'll find the serial number under your right side diopter. Once you are connected, the blue status LED light stays lit up. Now, you can transfer the settings from the app to the EL range. The data from the last three measurements is also transferred from the EL range to the app. The app always shows you the exact time of the last synchronization. To switch off Bluetooth, press the mode button for two seconds. You may want to fine tune the position of the eye cups to get the most comfortable position for your individual eye relief and positioning of the display in the right side barrel. The settings in the app. Here in settings, you can select the following your second line, which is MRAD, MOA, clicks, etc., all the different things, the brightness level from one to five, display in units, meaning yards or meters, the temperature units, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, air pressure units in HG or HPA, and also your rifle selection, whether it's number one, number two, or number three. Rifle configurations in the app. Now that you're connected to the EL Range app, by the serial number, you can enter up to three rifle cartridges that you will be using. Under Rifle Configurations, choose Ballistic Rifle 1 to enter your first rifle cartridge. When calibration comes up, choose your Swarovski Optic Rifle Scope, then select Sight Height Above Bore. This is the height between the bore axis and the scope axis. This typically defaults to 1.5 inches but you can change it for a more exact measurement. Then, you can choose a factory cartridge or hand load under ammunition. For a factory load from the database, the G1 ballistic coefficient automatically appears. Here, if you're satisfied with the factory setting from the database, click on the check mark above the upper right-hand corner to enter the cartridge in Rifle 1. You do have the option to also enter the G7 ballistic coefficient but you must look it up beforehand and enter it in manually, if it's available from the manufacturer. If you have entered hand-loaded data or G7 ballistic coefficient, then click on the check mark in the upper right-hand corner. This will bring you back to the calibration. Next, you have the conditions field with altitude that affects air pressure and temperature. Enter if you know them, then click on the check mark. If you don't know, don't worry about it because the EL range will automatically read the air pressure and the temperature. Next is the zero range or MRD. Enter the zero range you wish to zero your rifle at, i.e. 100 yards or 200 yards. We recommend you keep the calculate MRD button off. This is a popular method of using rifle ballistics for hunting in Europe, but it's virtually unheard of here in North America. Click on the check mark. Now you are back at the calibration again. Hit submit in the green box. Hopefully this video tutorial helped. For more information on our EL range with Tracking Assistant, please visit our website at swarovskioptic.com.